Welcome back guys to yet another video on this channel today. We are going over something for 9.2 and uh, it's going to be the crafters mic. I, I crafters mics. I know a lot of people have already talked about this But now that we are finally getting really close to really the release of the actual patch here on the 22nd and 23rd the amount of changes that can be introduced It's not going to be that high obviously there is still some of this that has a chance of you know changing so take this with a grain of salt but i imagine the vast majority of what i'm going to be talking about today is not going to be changed if it is going to be changed it would be small changes additions and all this stuff but never mind that we are going to talk about the information that we have at this very moment so as you can see what we need to do to actually get the two different crafters marks is going to be getting to honored with the enlightened uh, we'll also be talking about that later on in the video but that is something that you guys have to think about because it will require reputation to get your crafters marks and it is honored for both of them so you're going to be able to get the 262 one crafters mark in the first one which is the unique equipped one kind of like the 231 from corfia and this one is the 233 item level one which is kind of like the 200 200 eye level one so that's uh, basically all it is. And we're going to be talking about these two specifically. Um, and as you can see right here, we are going to be talking about this one specifically. Okay. So this Crafters Mark specifically requires a little less than the material. But we're going over Crafters Mark on the first one first. Because this one is really, really important. It requires Progenitor Essentia. This is the same thing that is used for the Vestige of the Eternal, as you can see here. It requires one Progenitor Essentia per uh, Crafters Marks of the first one. And then you can see the actual materials are both some of the current materials, but also some of the new ones. Okay, so here is the tailoring one, 150 Strata Cloth, 10 Penumbra Thread, 25 Silken uh, Proto Fiber. And then you can see Protogenic Pelt, Heavy Dissident Leather. Progenium ore, Alephium ore, and also some Shader Stone, some different essences, some Progenium ore, and I know Progenium ore is the same icon as Alephium, they still have not fixed this on the PCR, maybe they have when the video is out, we'll see, and then uh, you can see that this is the same thing, but besides all that, it is a combination of new and old materials, so this will keep both of the materials alive for a little longer, and then obviously it uses one of these. These have an insanely low drop rate on the PTR at the moment. Uh, obviously, that might change for release, but as it seems right now, these are going to be extremely hard to get. Extremely hard. Um, so this is something that you guys need to think about and look at, and you need to get as many as you can until you, until you get honored with the reputation so you can start crafting these. You need to hold on to them or buy them, so you can be the first ones to actually sell these 232, uh, 262s. Because something that's really important with these items is that 262 is extremely high on the item level. It's going to be a big boost to the people uh, that are new, obviously. New to 9.2, but also to the raiders and the people that are going into the hardcore content instantly. They probably also want one of these for some of their slots. So it is really important to go after this. And then obviously with the other crafters mark... We're going to look at that as well. And we can get over to it from this. Uh, as you can see here. I don't know if we can actually see it through here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. They're individual crafters marks. But what you need to know about these crafters marks. It is that they also use uh, the both of the same materials. You can see here that for this crafters mark specifically. It uses lightless silk and silk and proto fiber. So we get to use all of our current materials that we have now. From 9.1 and 9.2. Uh, zero we get to use those together with the new materials so that's very good i think that's a nice addition and i definitely think that it's something that you guys need to think about if you haven't invested or have any stocked up materials from the current materials you need to definitely think about that because you will be needing and we will be needing a lot of these so it's definitely important to look at of course be putting a couple links to all of this down in the description below uh and also probably the comments whatever works um but this is important for you guys to look at and follow the closer and closer we get to the ptr now the other thing that we will look at is going to be the reputation wowhead put together a list of how long it would take i've talked about this in some previous videos but because it makes sense to talk about this for the crafters mark specifically we are going to talk about it again 
So what it is, uh, is this goes through week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. And it shows you guys how much reputation we get for each of the, uh, like the story quests and all of this stuff. And then additionally, they also tell you, um, uh, they also tell you how much rares and how much, um, um, the different, like twice, a twice a week quests give. There's a couple of other, like, there's a couple other things on Seraph Mortis that you want to be doing all of the daily content. And there's a good list here. You can see uh, completion of the bi-weekly quest patterns within patterns, kill credit for some world bosses, rares, uh, rare elites, dailies, world quests, uh, treasures, all of this stuff. And you want to be able to do this and do this actively to be caught up as much as possible. But we're going to lo be looking at the TLDR. And what you can see right here is going to be reaching honored with the enlightened will take around 10 days. So around 10 days of min maxing as much as possible. So that's doing absolutely everything that you can on one character or however many you want to do it. You can get to honored reputation within 10 days. So that's how many days you have from when the patch releases until people will start hitting honored. And if you want to be first, you have to grind as hard as some of these people will. And it's also really important to realize that we're also going to be getting in the same, uh, not in the same week, because the Tome, uh, Tome of the Eternal for rank 7 legendaries is going to be coming on chapter 5. Uh, this will be week 3. So on the 22nd, 23rd, that's week 1. A week later, week 2. A week later, week 3. So as soon as we get to the reset from, from week two into week three, people are going to start getting this. So obviously, people are going to get these crafter's marks before the Tome of Eternal is going to come out, which means that a lot of people are going to go for these very hard to get in on this early before the legendary uh, markets also pop in. Um, but that is actually going to be everything that I had for this video. I just wanted to make this so you guys uh, and, and, and the people that pop by this video have a chance to know what, what this is, what we have, and how we need to do it. Because I know a lot of people uh, you know, sometimes find it hard to follow on all the information and changes that we have. So this is what that video kind of serves for. I hope this helped you, uh, help you guys out, of course. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. And until the next one, see you guys!